Hello and welcome back to the 27th episode of a nostalgia playthrough of Close Combat 3, Cross of Iron. Uh, we're playing through here with the Russians and the, uh, sorry, <laughs> the Germans and the guy in campaign. Uh, with the elite difficulty, which is the hardest difficulty. Either way, uh, we're on the last map of this operation. Unfortunately, we've been here a few episodes ago. Uh, that time we, we were defending and we had these hills and just kind of lost a tiger and a 88. Stationary gun, but uh, we just stopped them dead on the tracks right where they started. This time we can't do that though. Um, so yeah, let's see what we can do here. Command crew, can we? Uh, we can give them a uh, command pencil four. Not necessarily something we do want though. Uh, I would like to fix the tracks on the tiger, and then we can see what we can afford other than that. Maybe another tank that has a little bit of armor. Uh, I don't want to spend points on Panzer Force at the moment, really, but I think we'll do it. And uh, Okay, we can upgrade the heavy infantry here to an assault squad or an engineer squad. The assault squad looks interesting. They got STG 44s. Okay. Now, oh, wait a minute. Assault squad here. This is a different assault squad. But it's 11 points, so then we spend all of requisition points, actually. So let's just do that. Okay, this should um, this should suffice, hopefully. Uh, let's put this heavy machine gun team in position here. This heavy machine gun team in position there. Uh, heavy infantry, we can just move into this building there. The 88. Mm. Put it across the river, actually, so I can shoot. Hopefully to the enemy hillside here. Well, to some degree. So if there's any tanks there, we should be able to deal with them with him. Heavy weapon squad, we'll just put them there. Heavy infantry, uh, let's put them there, in here. Uh, this goes back to what I was saying previously, about uh, the further you get into the game, the less effort it looks like they put into the maps. As they won't really take position inside the house, but take cover outside of it instead, which is not ideal, and certainly not what you want. Let's put the Stug tree here. Just kind of covering down the lane. Yeah, covering the bridge with this thing. Maybe also the bomb bear, just in case there's actually something worth dealing with over there. We'll put the Ferdinand over here on this side of the bridge. And I think we'll put also the tiger still, maybe. Maybe not. Let's put a tiger here. That should allow it to cover somewhat up to this hill. And we can always just move it in further. Uh, let's put the Panzer IV here as well, and this Tiger over on the other side of the river. So we have a few units on the other side here. And I guess we just start and we see how it goes. No, wait a minute, these guys put them on the fan. Okay, let's see how it goes. Okay, we got the enemies. Oh, they got a Panther. We haven't even seen one single Panther available to purchase yet, and now the enemy has Panthers? Okay, we might want to reprioritize our target cells. SU has been immobilized. He is not a priority. Let's get this panther. Target the panther 88. Target him. Reload. Give him a good one. It's damaged. It's not damaged enough though. We need it to be dead. Reloading to armor piercing. Why? You have heat shells. Okay, now reloading the heat shells. And now they're dead. How nice. Alright, we can move the Ferdinand and the Tiger in a little bit, I suppose. Um, that was a lot of enemies. Mostly infantry, it seems. I want the Ferdinand to get shots in that Panther, which... I feel like maybe we should have slash could have already killed if... Um, if the AI wasn't so terrible. That was one of the selling points for this game, as opposed to... Um, uh, the previous version of it, the Russian front. Uh, was improved AI. I'm not seeing this AI improvement they're talking about, though. I don't know what the hell that improvement is, because it's not showing up in my games. Okay, so, okay, maybe we can knock out this SU if he comes over the hill, huh? It's not the worst to lose a stationary 88, but of course it would be preferable not to. But uh, maybe we can stop this guy here, it's damaged. Uh, oh, we took out T-34 over here. 
Very nice. Okay, we, we see the panther again now. I'm not sure if it's the... Uh... Oh, no, we, we got... Um... We got shots on him with the Ferdinand. Just kind of bouncing off his front though, which is not ideal. He's turning aside. Can we please? Can we please? We took out the SU-76. As you can see in the uh, log down here. Ferdinand, why are you wrong facing? Why are you doing this stupid turn your tank to face the enemy then? If you're facing the wrong way, just remedy the situation by turning. The shitty AI. So we got shots on him with the uh, Tiger as well, so can we please take this Panther out? We've taken out two of its crew members. Three of its crew members now. But uh, its armor is still holding up, unfortunately. And it can still return fire. Okay, they're abandoning it, abandoning it so we can actually capture a Panther. A little bit weird that they have a Panther. When I haven't seen the option to purchase one for myself yet myself so why the hell do the russians have it and me the german player does not either way let's move our uh, tank units in here a little bit they want some truce and they can keep dreaming it's good to dream big i guess but uh dream realistic because that's not gonna happen all right the su-152 over here that's immobilized right so that's that's just pointing in this direction, can't really do anything to us. And so now we just wait for the uh, Tiger and the Ferdinand to actually be able to get a move on. Let's just target across the river with these guys, see if they can get a move on as well. Just gonna hold my button on the trigger here in case we spot some enemy tanks with this guy. Use the gun crew to call in and secure this gun position over here. Or Hill 228. I hope our coming maps soon can be not on muddy snow maps so that our tanks can actually move at some decent speed and we can kind of do something a bit quicker because it's taking a while to move them around the map right now. And when you look at the AI, look at this. Like, what is this guy doing? The AI is just making everything move so much slower. Wait, what's my pencil for? What, what's he doing here? Just like, there's the road, there's the bridge, go straight forward, cross the bridge. What, what the fuck? The tiger turn around? What? Why? Man, is that frustrating. Put these guys in ambush here. We now know they have an SU-76, sir, at least. Dude, what is going on? Why? Well, the AI, the AI is so fucking bad. You need to, like, waypoint them so specifically. Like, drive like this. That's the way. Go like that. You two, go like that. Also, you... Go like this. You. Get going like that. Come the fuck on and do that. We're gonna just do the same with this guy as well. Because apparently they're freaking retarded. Get the further and moving to the top of the hill here. Oh, the AI. The AI. It's like they just haven't done the maps correctly. They've just forgotten about several layers of them or something. So the pathing will just be trash. I mean, you see several places they don't even use the buildings for cover. They they are right outside in front of the building instead, the infantry units. So it just tells me that either they had a deadline that they needed uh, to meet, or they just kind of got lazy. It was like, ah, it's fine. But trust me, it isn't fine. It isn't. Oh, no, no, now he's driving past this waypoint there, so we're going to have to waypoint him again so that he doesn't do like a stupid return drive again mm. I don't know there should have been put more polish into these maps the more late game ones are you even moving Ferdinand are you are you making an effort to make a move here now let's sneak these guys back a little bit actually they can't fight an SU-76 Aye, 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 I can't wait to not be on snow maps. 
Hello, are you guys moving at all? What are you doing? Can't reach target? Are you completely retarded? I mean, why am I even asking? Of course, yeah. Gotta be a little bit careful with this SU-76 if he rolls over the hill here. We kinda need to be prepared for that, so yeah, okay. Well, the Stug is retarded anyway, so you can just drive over there and aim at that freaking hill, I suppose. Maybe take that victory location as well. Uh, this could have gone a lot faster and a lot more effectively if uh, the path thing just wasn't so trash. To be real, uh, to be honest, though. <laughs> Why? Why is it going down here now? Can you just go this way? Go, go this way. Oh my lord. Drive directly to the target, just freaking get there, and let's end this map, because this map is apparently a shit fest. They have definitely failed on this map, and some other ones too. I, I don't think they even got lazy, but maybe they did. I think it's more of like a, a deadline issue, and they didn't have time to polish the game properly. But this is a remake of the game, so in the remake, Maybe you would take some time to polish these things if you're gonna justify selling it for 30 to 50 euros when it's a 20 plus years old game. Just saying, you greedy bastards. Don't buy this on Steam, by the way. I said in the first episode, buy it on good old games. It's a lot, lot cheaper there. Don't support Steam charging this much for this game. Uh, it's an unheard of amount. It's insane. I mean, we have a time limit we're working with here, so if we could just actually, you know, move our tanks forward, it would be super duper. But look at this guy, he's like, he's still like, hmm, how does a bridge work? Do I drive sideways across it? Do I drive off the edge? Hmm, a bridge, haven't seen those before. How do I handle a bridge? Very good, though. This is like a super experienced commander. And, and... And he, he can't even drive over a bridge. Good job. I don't really know what to say. I am aware that this probably isn't very interesting to watch. It isn't very interesting to play either, not gonna lie, not when it's like this. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. That's the uh, newest Russian technology again with teleporting superhumans. Wait, is this SU? No, it's not visible to us. Could be soon. Okay, they, they finally fell back. I think we captured the SU. Oh, what a fucking map. Fix the game, please. Jesus Christ. Alright, we lost one guy, two got wounded, and we lost the, uh, well, that's a gun crew, and we lost a gun, it's whatever. We took out two tanks, we captured two tanks, killed 11, wounded 15, no prisoners. So far in the campaign, uh, we have three more operations to play through, and we've done as good as we can. This is, like, you can't win every, like, you can't get a total victory in every, like, this. this is the best results, I believe. Maybe... In one of them we could have done slightly better or something, but... Yeah. Either way. So we have 53 dead to the Russians, 285. 50 wounded to the Russians, 260. Five prisoners taken to the Russians, 108. Uh, yeah, as you can see here, we've been doing a lot better than the AI, which is to be expected, as they probably haven't really improved it as much as they claim they have. Either way, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I... Probably didn't. I didn't really enjoy playing it because it was just silly and a lot of crap AI just really showing itself and just like some issues with this map really showed itself in this one, I think. So, yeah, they could have done a better job, particularly on a remake. Either way, if you did to some degree like the video or whatever, I'd appreciate if you would consider leaving a like on it and or maybe even subscribing to my channel if you want more of my content in the future. 
Uh, but yeah, either way, thank you for watching. You can catch me in the next one. Have a good one.